The United States National Park System covers more than 84 million acres of preserved woods, deserts, mountains, and natural wonders, so it's no surprise that since its inception in 1916, there have been hundreds of deaths and disappearances. Whether you were attacked by Bigfoot or fell off a ledge taking the almost perfect selfie while dangling off the edge of the Grand Canyon, people who enter the parks don't always exit. This video is made for educational purposes. The true crime buffs know that there are many mysterious and unexplained disappearances, suggesting that something otherworldly is to blame. In fact, unexplained is the number one cause of death or disappearances in our park system. And then there are wildlife attacks, lost hikers, and accidents that leave less to the imagination. This list isn't just about deaths, but also about the risks posed by these parks, like injuries, falls, and those needing medical help. So before you thank Teddy Roosevelt and grab that National Park passport, let's check out the most dangerous national parks. Number 9 is Denali National Park in Alaska. This isn't even one of the most visited parks, so the fact that it makes this list shows that all who visit should use caution. Going strictly by its per capita death rate, Denali is by far the most dangerous national park. It is a staggering 10 times more dangerous than Great Smoky Mountains National Park, which sees less than one death per million visitors. Denali sees 9.8 deaths per million visitors. The main cause of death is environmental, which is no surprise given its extreme northern latitude. It is one of the least developed of our national parks, and Mount Denali, formerly called Mount McKinley, is the highest peak in North America and lures in many climbers, both experienced and less than experienced. Exposure is the leading cause of death, followed by falls. And although you may think bear attacks would be more common in Alaska, there has only been one fatal bear attack in the park's entire history. One of the deadliest incidents in the park was the 1967 Mount McKinley disaster, which saw the early demise of seven climbers as they tried to descend the mountain in one of the park's worst recorded blizzards. It is still the deadliest accident in Denali, and at the time was one of the deadliest mountaineering accidents in history. Number 8 is Arches National Park in Utah. This park is home to some of the most mesmerizing photo ops, with huge rock arches balancing across the desert. Situated in the Moab Desert, the park authorities respond to hundreds of search and rescue calls. Exposure and falls are leading causes of death, which will be a theme in this video. Visitors are encouraged to bring plenty of water to stay hydrated, particularly if you get lost or wander off the trail. Falls are another risk factor with steep drop-offs on hiking trails and slippery rocks. One of the most bizarre and tragic deaths in the park was when a woman was decapitated while leaving the park. A metal gate swung open and hit the car of a young couple, sadly killing a 25-year-old woman. They survived the hiking, climbing, and desert sun, but were sadly hit by a malfunctioning man-made structure. Though deaths are relatively rare at the park, it is in the top 5 of parks with the most rescue calls to rangers. Use caution when entering the park and steer clear of the flimsy man-made structures that interfere with the natural wonders. Number 7 is Golden Gate National Recreation Area. You may be thinking, how can a park that is basically composed of a bridge be so dangerous? Well, based on the death toll it makes the list. Each year, over 30 people jump off the bridge to their deaths, and this is the second most visited park in the country. There have been over 1,700 deaths, which exponentially exceeds any other national park. This horrifying statistic may not be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Some psychologists believe that the romanticizing of the bridge as a jumping point has lured people there who otherwise could have sought help. Because of the bridge's reputation, it is believed that it creates a false sense of opportunity. There is a French term that translates to the call of the void, which is the sudden urge to engage in destructive behavior. Of the only 35 people who have survived the jump, nearly every single one said that they wanted to live as soon as they went over the side. There have been efforts to mitigate the jump rate, with a construction project to build a net to protect those who jump. What more likely happens with these similar net projects is that the jumping opportunity is no longer there and help can be sought. Number 6 is Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. This park became famous for the recent death of famous influencer Gabby Petito. Her story made headlines when her body was found in the park long after her boyfriend returned home to Florida in the van they'd been living and traveling in. There was no sign of Gabby. Sadly, it turned out that she had been murdered by her boyfriend and left in the park. While this may be the most notorious death in the park, it's not just others that you need to watch out for. 
There have been 48 deaths in the park in the past 10 years, with 21 of them being from falls. The steep mountainous terrain can challenge even an experienced hiker. Other leading causes of death are hypothermia and heart attacks from the stresses of the treacherous hiking. Despite it being bear country, there have been no fatal bear attacks within the park. If you are going to venture beyond your vehicle, be sure to take all the proper precautions and seek medical advice before taking on something bigger than you can handle. Number 5 is Everglades National Park in South Florida. This may not top the death toll, but this park is home to some of the deadliest wildlife in the country. The Everglades are the largest protected wetland in the US, and for good reason. It is home to hundreds of different species, including 12 invasive species like the Burmese python. The American alligator, the eastern diamondback rattlesnake, and the Florida black bear are just some of the wildlife that can be deadly to humans. Despite the beauty of South Florida, there is no swimming in the Everglades. However, small children have been known to fall or jump into various canals and waterways. One of the most bizarre incidents in the Everglades was when Eastern Airlines Flight 401 crashed into the murky Everglades shortly before midnight on December 29, 1972. There were 101 fatalities, but of the 75 who survived the plane crash, they faced a new danger. As they lay in the swamp awaiting rescue, they could hear the snakes hissing and alligators swimming by. After rescue, the wrath of the Everglades still wasn't over, as several passengers contracted a flesh-eating bacterial infection that required either treatment in a hyperbaric chamber, amputation, or death. The air crash investigators also faced dangers while scouring the wreckage as they battled snake bites and alligator attacks. Be extra cautious and follow park instructions when visiting this wildlife house of horrors. Number 4 is Lake Mead. It's believed that there are hundreds of bodies waiting to be found as the lake dries up. Drowning is the number one cause of death in this park. There are deaths reported each year, but the real mystery lies under the water. As the western US is facing a mega drought, Lake Mead is evaporating. Lake Mead sees about 7 million visitors a year and is the third most visited park in the country. It has gone back and forth as being called America's most deadly park. Each year, as the water recedes, more and more human remains are being found. One of the most recent bodies found was that of a visitor who had been missing since 1974. The victim was a 39-year-old man who had been on the lake nearly 50 years ago. While many were the result of drowning, some revealed a more sinister cause of death. One body, found in May of 2022, was hidden in a barrel. The victim died of a gunshot wound and was wearing clothes sold at Kmart from the 1970s. With the possibility of hundreds of bodies lying beneath the surface, there is no doubt that Lake Mead will soon become America's most deadly national park. Number 3 is Great Smoky Mountain National Park, spanning from North Carolina into Tennessee. Its reputation of strange sightings and disappearances are far more exciting than what rangers report as the more mundane rescue calls. Since the Park Service has been keeping records, there have been just over 660 deaths. The number one cause of death in the park has been car accidents, accounting for nearly 27% of all deaths in the park. The windy roads with dark treetop canopies can make this park treacherous to drive, particularly in the early mornings when the fog limits visibility. The second leading cause of death has been from plane crashes into the mountains, falling, drowning, and hypothermia. One of the enduring mysteries at the park was the 1969 disappearance of Dennis Martin. The six-year-old walked from his campsite to another campsite where other family members were and was never seen again. He has officially been missing for 54 years. Several theories have emerged, ranging from an animal attack to a kidnapping to something teetering on conspiracy theories. The search for Dennis was the largest mobilized search of a national park of all time. Number 2 is Yosemite National Park. One of the most visited parks in America is also the most deadly. Since 1851, over 1,500 deaths have been reported within its borders. The leading cause of death in Yosemite is falling. The famous rock cliff face of El Capitan entices rock climbers from far and wide, but this also creates an attractive danger. Alex Hanold made his mark by climbing El Capitan with no ropes, no harness, and no safety equipment. This was chronicled in the documentary Free Solo. There have been 31 deaths on El Capitan alone, and that was with safety equipment. Yosemite is vast and has steep mountains and cliff faces. It also has had some of the most mysterious deaths and disappearances of all the parks. In 2021, a couple, their infant child, and their dog were all found dead near Devil's Gulch, a more remote part of Yosemite. There were no external signs of trauma, no signs of heat stroke, and seemingly no explanation for their deaths. 
Eventually, their deaths were determined to be hypothermia, but their friends and family claimed that they were too experienced to succumb to such a novice cause of death. The death of the dog still remains a mystery. Many people have wandered into this park and have never been seen again. Number 1 is Grand Canyon National Park. It is also one of the most visited, so it's no shock that this park would see its share of deaths and disappearances. There have been over 900 deaths since it became a park in 1919. While the raw numbers don't put this at the top, it has been a national park for 60 fewer years than Yosemite, so it has time to catch up. The most common cause of death at the Grand Canyon is, oddly enough, not falling and not heat exposure, but airplane crashes. Even if you exclude the 1956 mid-air collision between two commercial planes, this would still be the leading cause of death. If you exclude suicides, then accidental falls tie with environmental causes for the number two cause of death. It has often been asked how many people have accidentally fallen into the canyon while taking a selfie. Though this data isn't exactly on the National Park website, the Grand Canyon is cited as one of the most deadly locations for people willing to risk it all for Instagram. With all the national parks covering millions of acres of America, there's bound to be danger. Tracking mysterious disappearances within the parks has become popular among true crime buffs. Missing 411 has investigated clusters of disappearances that have yet to be solved. Experienced hikers all disappearing under similar circumstances have tantalized the internet. Despite all the dangers, people still flock to the parks by the millions.